All right, and now a landing. Yes, everybody, we have done it. We have landed up. Nobody, this right here is one of the smallest planes ever made, if not the smallest plane, the Columban Cree Cree, which looks miserable and is kind of miserable. And it's finally looking next to the biggest plane ever made, of course, the Antonov An-225, which is right here parked at Key West Airport. Probably not realistic. Overall, the whole idea is not realistic because obviously this plane does not exist in real life anymore. It was destroyed around two years ago. Anyway, I was wondering, can the smallest plane in the world land on the biggest plane in the world? Everybody, yes, you can call me the great thinker of our of our world. Um, can we turn the Antonov An-225 in an airport? I mean, they've turned 747s into hotels, so why not turn Antonovs into airports? And all we need to do is maybe to add like a landing deck on it. That shouldn't be hard. Yeah, maybe something like that and just put that right there. Yes, take a look at this. Would you go ahead and see that? I mean, the Antonov is actually kind of designed to be a perfect airport. I've just put a runway on it. It's it's very simple. This airplane, unlike other jet planes, doesn't have, you know, your usual vertical stabilizer. It has two of them on the side. Yes, all we need is uh, this stuff here and we have a perfect runway. Now, the problem about the Antonov Anto 25 is that, of course, while it's big, it's not impossibly huge. It is only 275 feet long, which is only 83 meters. That's way shorter than any runway. But anyway, we should be able to do this in the smallest plane in the world. So let's take out the Cree Cree right now, beautifully. Let's put the flaps down fully. And we should soon be able to actually just do a teardrop maneuver and land on the biggest plane in the world with the smallest plane. It's absolutely dumb. All right. So meanwhile, the engines are very much shaking. Um, would you trust this airplane? Not sure. Anyway, looking good we're turning around now and here is the antonov come on looks good looks good looks good let's touch down now yes all right and now it's time to stop full power into the brakes everybody the Cree Cree has landed on the antonov an-225 we've done it we've landed a plane on a plane Everybody Swiss is there 1 2024. That's great. Let's maybe see if we're able to take off from standstill here. Come on, full power. Yes, very powerful Cree Cree airplane. And we've done it! Yeah, although we crashed into some light poles. But this is great. We should upgrade. How about your conventional trainer, Cessna? Come on. The 172. I went in for a landing. Alright. Oh, f. All right, everybody, I think we need something more compatible. Jesus Christ, this did not work out at all. Maybe we will have better luck with a turboprop airplane. I mean, a King Air is quite big, though. Yeah, this thing is flying at like a 100 knots. I think I have very much underestimated how short the Antonov An-225 really is. 80 meters, that's not a lot, especially if you're flying with a plane that's bigger than the smallest plane. Look, oh. This is never going to work, is it? You know what? I know. I know what we can try. DC-3. Come on, DC-3. Are you ready? Let's put the landing gear down. Come on. Come on. There's the Antonov right here. We are pretty fast. Come on. Come on. Come on. Work with me. There's no way. I, I'm not unable to land this thing on, on the Antonov. What? can fly on this. By the way, rest in peace, all the people. Wait, are they dead? Why are they all asleep now? They're all dead. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to do this. We've we've died. All right. What can fly here? I mean, come on. I'm running out of airplanes to try. This plane is immensely s s small. Like, look, are we even able to take off at all? Come on, full power. This is, once again, the Cessna 172, obviously. Full power. I mean, the good thing is that we have kind of this drop off. I can't believe it. Come on, let's maybe try to hold center line a little bit better. Come on, we can do better. Yeah, full power now. It says now 172 is taking off, not using outside view. Yes, let's keep it stable. Keep it on the deck. And there we go. We're able to not take off. Not even a Cessna can fly here. You know what, though? I have an idea. Well, aircraft carriers, they work so well because they are moving themselves, which gives the plane a bit more headway. Can we just make this airplane fly? and then land airplanes on it. Is that a good idea? Yes, everybody, what a genius idea. We right here have the Antonov N225 airport now flying right in front of us. Come on, let's have a bit of a closer look. This thing is moving at a relatively slow speed, like 100 and something, 120 knots. You know, the Antonov, and this is what it looks like. It's got its runway right here. It's uh, very slowly moving. Let's let me see if we can land the 737 on it. Honestly, though, the landing surface is really not that big. You know, this plane, I, I 
thought it was wider, actually, for a 737. All right, and here we go. Here's our landing pad. No, 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 touch. No, 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 no. Oh. Shice it. Honestly, I think we should rather try this from the outside view. Come on, let's not go too fast. We just have to make sure to, like, land on this thing. All right, something like that. All right, honestly, this is harder than I imagined, especially in a fast plane like this. 737, which isn't really big enough. Isn't really big enough to fit on this. God, we've died. God damn it. All right, maybe we should try something more sensible. This is a Cessna Citation X. I guess this makes a bit more sense. All right. I'm ha I have to fly this plane in outside view because for some reason the replay mode doesn't work with this moving airport. Come on. Let's try to... Yeah, perfect center line. Good, good, good. Nice. Easy. Nice. Good. Very calmly. All right. And now a landing. Yes, everybody. We have done it. We have landed. Oh, no, 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 no. We're falling off. All right, that obviously hasn't worked. God damn it. All right, come on. Yeah, it turns out the brakes are not able to keep this plane stuck, for, you know, on our landing deck, which is moving at 120 knots, which makes sense. I mean, if there were winds of 120 knots, I don't think this airplane would stay still either. So, yeah, 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 yeah. All good, all good, all good. Let's not fall off. Scheisse. Uh, this is a, a very bad idea. We've died again. All right, come on, Antonov 225. I want to do a successful landing and then also a successful takeoff. Is that in any way possible? I guess our goal now is to, you know, keep the thrust going so that we don't, you know, fall off again. Come on. All right, here it is. insanely impossible who had the stupid it was me who had the idea god damn good thing is that there's literally no wind and this plane moves immensely linear so there was no turbulence or anything calculated here come on come on come on uh 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 uh, uh. yes everybody a bit of a hard landing that's absolutely fine there is no possibility to stay on this thing by the way we just fall off which makes sense once again we're moving at a very at a very high speed. That's very solid water. Right, you know what? Maybe this could be easier using a smaller airplane like the Cessna 172. Come on, all as well. Although we do need to fly relatively fast considering it's a Cessna 172. So flaps all the way up. Come on, catch up with the Antonov. Yes, there it is. There it is indeed. You should be able to come in for a landing. Yeah, very nicely. Let's do the most beautiful butter landing you've ever seen in your entire life. We need to get it gave in full power for this thing to work, which is interesting. All right, come on, come on, come on. There it is. Very nice. And we can put the brakes down. Yes, all the way into the brakes. We need to still give in a lot of power, 80% in order to stay on this thing. It's very slippery, that's for sure. No, don't fall off. No. Uh, come on. I wanted to do at least like a full flight here. So what I'm doing now is I'm moving. Come on. There we go. Land on the carrier. Land on the thing. Land very smoothly and calmly. Very nice. Very good. And now let's go full power to try to get off again, right? Let's not fall off, but get off and take off normally. Full power into the engine. Yes, we are now releasing the brakes. And well, we can immediately take off because we are at 100 and what? Like nearly 100 knots. Okay, perfect. This has worked totally fine. We, uh, we've been able to achieve our challenge. Obviously, trying to use any bigger airplane than the Cessna is absolutely idiotic. Come on, A330. I don't even think the landing gear will fit, like, physically on our deck. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Oh, all right. We've just touched down with a bet. This is absolutely stupid. I don't even know why I even give the, gave this a try. The Antonov N225, surprisingly, isn't that immensely big. It's not like it will dwarf any plane. I mean, the A330 looks still big in comparison to the Antonov N225, but it's only the Cessna that we can actually land on it. So thank you guys so much for watching this absolutely useless video, and I'll see you guys in the next one as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Durham, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.